Hey everyone, welcome to the second lesson of the webhooks course where the advanced settings one can use when adding or editing a webhook are covered. Let's open the webhook module settings. Since I already have added a new webhook, I'm going to click here to edit it and check the show advanced settings option, which you can also do when creating a webhook. Here you can define a data structure to validate incoming data. You can leave this empty if you simply want the webhook to receive data without any validation. Again, you may either add a new data structure or select an existing one. Let me select one from my list here and show you what it looks like. So it's a simple structure with four items, namely first underscore name, last underscore name, email, and phone. An important thing to note is the data type of each item. The items first underscore name, last underscore name, and email all have the data type text. The item phone, however, has data type number. Now, if I want to use this data structure to validate incoming data, I must check the strict option here. Only then will this data structure be compared to the structure of the webhooks payload. If the payload contains extra items not specified in the data structure, the webhook will be rejected with the HTTP status as 400. Let's execute this scenario once and trigger the webhook so it starts listening for data. All right. As you can see here on Postman, I've created a request payload which contains all the fields specified in the data structure of the webhook. However, I've added an extra key called DOB. When I hit send, the response states that the validation failed for one parameter and the status is 400. This is because I have set the data structure of the webhook to strict. If I remove the extra key value pair and send the payload, it will now be accepted. So here's a recap. The event settings of a webhook module allow you to determine a data structure that your webhook payload needs to match in order to be accepted. The items in your data structure must have the correct type of data assigned to them. And finally, if you want the webhook to only accept the data that matches your specified data structure, simply enable the strict option in your data structure settings. And that brings us to the end of this lesson on webhooks advanced settings. In the next video, you will learn how to send a response to a webhook. See you in the next lesson.